What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to the Apollo 11 VR Experience. As always, full disclosure, this copy of the experience provided by the publisher. This game's out on PlayStation Network today in the U.S. for 12 bucks. Apparently it's been out in Europe for months, but it is out now in the U.S. for 12 bucks. Now, it is very important to emphasize the experience part. This is more educational than it is a video game, and if you want a video game, perhaps look elsewhere. But if you want history, if you want an awesome VR history lesson, we're going to hop in here for some Apollo 11. So we have two options here. Cinematic, sit back and relax, and interactive. Take control during docking, landing, and most importantly, moonwalk sections. <laughs> so as a video game person who likes to play video games, we're going to go interactive. Uh, I don't know how that's going to turn out. 1957, Soviet Russia. The first man in space. I'm going to be the first slug in space. And how fast we have come. Well then, we're but here in this dance, if you will. living room, looking at JFK. On, can I go sit over that? Can I go sit over there? Like, why am I sitting here and not in that cooler chair? That's a cooler chair! Lava lamp. Oh, oh, oh! Out of the play area. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then you got your reel to reel. You get your little lantern dude here. Vents. Poster. Is that a, why is there a doorbell on the wall? It's weird. This is a very. Man to write. I, um, Use a cock this is a really weird house, room. Like, we're in this, like, den area. It's very sparse. We choose to go to the moon. There's the moon! Not because it's easy. Oh. Hey there. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, yep. but because they are hard. Because that goal will this is pretty cool. to organize and measure the best this is pretty cool. of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win on the other side. Welcome to Earth. I want to go walk down there. Flying in a little space here. Why am I skydiving? Why am I just... No parachute and whatnot. That's... The scale here is really impressive. Like, the texture on the ground is basically Google Maps, which is not cool. It's kind of really blurry. And that's kind of whatever. But the scale of this... That's not a good texture, all I'm saying. That's not a good... <laughs> Clean that up. Yeah, that... That's kind of tall. That's kind of tall. Okay. Can I walk around? Can I... No? Nothing? Thought, uh, we had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 chance of making a successful landing on the first... Hi. First attempt. No smoking. Testing. That's a uh, good advice. Hey guys, I'm going to the moon. Hey, this is very cramped. This is... Oh, we're... Yeah, okay. That... Don't stick your head out the window when, when you're going to the moon. Just putting that out there. Can't... There's a lot of buttons here. Guys, I hope you know what these buttons do, because I have no idea. Just saying. Just here for the ride. All right. Shaka bra. That window over there. Uh oh. Controller's rumbling here. Uh oh. I'm not. All right. Let's go. Let's go to the moon. We're lifting off. Hey. Yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yep, we're doing this. We're doing this. G forces and whatnot. We're doing this. That was pretty cool. Oh, there's the sun. I'm a little blinded there. It's okay. Bye, Earth. All my stuff's there. Just gonna stick my head out this window here. Oh, hey, yep. 
Yep, this is part of the spaceship. There's the Earth. That's cool. I mean, I probably shouldn't press this button. This has a board here. Just, I probably shouldn't be pressing that. But it's there. And we're in space. The final frontier. Captain's log. There's a pen floating around. Star date. Whatever. Now see, as a video game, that's not really a video game. This is the kind of thing you wish was more of a video game, because I just want to hit every single button on here instead of just watching this pen float around. Which is cool, admittedly, but just the urge to just press every button and see what happens. I mean, I guess that's why you have a game like Kerbal. Now, if you could get Kerbal in VR, that could be amazing. Also nauseating, but amazing. Just, just, just putting that out there. Could be cool. Space! This is pretty cool. This is pretty neat. Okay, so, oh, no, my head's up. Oh, crap. My head's here. And so there's, this is kind of the, all right, transpose by pitching the right stick. Align with the docking, hold the X button to accelerate forward. I, okay. Um... So yeah, there's a gameplay portion to this. Uh, yep, I'm definitely moving. I'm definitely using the right stick to move, but I can see why they give you the option to... There it is. Oh no, oh no, come back, come back, come back! To be cinematic or to actually, you know, get this to line up. Because uh, this is not easy. Like, seeing it right and getting it to... This is why I don't play Kerbal. <laughs> because I'm really bad at Kerbal. Thar she blows. It's the moon. Hey, buddy. I'm steering this thing. Oh, God. You don't want me steering this thing. Neil, Buzz. Anybody else? Oh. Yep. 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 I'm going to land on that big old rock. Yeah, that's... Have you seen me play Carbal? Uh, you shouldn't be having me do this. Seriously. This is probably... Oh, no. I seem to have overshot the landing site, so... Oh no! By landing site! I've overshot it by a lot. Sorry. Hey, where you got... I wanna walk too. I wanna moonwalk too. You just gonna leave me here? Warning! Jumping and smoothly moving around using left stick may be uncomfortable. Use with caution. So, yeah. If you get VR sickness, uh, maybe don't walk on the moon. Just saying. You got a jump button, move, recenter, snap, turn. All right. And a tax log is now on the moon. There's the sun. Where? There's the earth. Hey, buddy. And here we are. I mean, this is a VR game, so, you know, it's... Well, not a game, but this is this is essentially what most VR feels like. Um, I can do whatever that is. Oh, I actually click on this thing here. Yep, click on that, make that happen. I can hear a thing. I don't want to hear a thing because I'm just here to explore the moon. You do that. I'm just going this way. See what happens. In. Space with one sixth the gravity. You do that over there. Just walking around. This is pretty cool. So yes, this is the Apollo 11 VR experience uh, on the PlayStation 4 on PS VR, and uh, how much you value uh, the fact that this costs twelve dollars and is not really a game, but there is you know there there are some gameplay segments if you want them. So how much you care about history? and about learning about the moon landing and about experiencing the moon landing. There's the boundaries. In, oh, I want to go on the dark side of the moon. Pink Floyd said it was cool. There are interactive parts of this VR experience, and I think this part of it is pretty well done for what it is and what you're paying. And whether or not you find that to be valuable, well, it is available now for $12. So... I've done my moonwalk, I launched in a rocket, that was all good and fun, so I shall wrap up this video here. 
as a slug in space and tell you that I am your host, the Space Slug. This has been a video on Apollo 11 on the PSVR, and I will see you next time and every day whee, for more videos right here on this channel. Don't stare into the sun. You'll go blind. All my stuff's over there. And I'm out.